Hello everyone and welcome back once again. This is Ajay and today we are going to learn about the selection sort. Now let us start straight away. There are five numbers in front of you. The number is the numbers are 60, 56, 4, 3 and 5. And above the numbers, these are the positions of the number from 1 to 5. So what we do in selection sorted, we will uh, select the first position that is uh, 60, the number 60. And then we will try to find the smallest numbers among all these numbers. Now if you see these numbers, uh, the number 3 is the smallest. So what we will do is, we will swap the number 3 with number 60, that is position 1. We will swap the position 1 with position 4, that is number 3. So we will swap these numbers. So after swapping the numbers, what we will do, we will move the pointer to the next position, that is the position 2, number is 56. And now over here, we will try to find the smallest number between the position 2 and between position 5 means from position 2 to position 5 we will try to find the smallest number now if you see from position 2 to position 5 the smallest number is 4 so what we will do is we will swap this number with number 56 so 4 and 56 will get swapped now again after swapping the numbers we will move to the next pointer the pointer will move to the position 3 at position 3 we have number 6 to 56 and from position 3 to position 5 we will try to find the smallest number now the smallest number is 5 so what we will do is we will swap the number 5 with number 56 so the position 3 and 5 will get swapped now the pointer will move to position 4 at position 4 we have number 60 so from position 4 to position 5 the smallest number is 56 so we will swap these numbers now after swapping the numbers you can see these numbers are now sorted form in a sorted form so this is a selection sort and now we will see the program for it and we will check how it works so this is the program in front of you this is a, there is a nested loop the i loop the outermost loop and the j loop that is the innermost loop and these are the same numbers but the index values the position value starts from zero as we are using a list in list the index value starts from zero the i loop will start from zero to length of the list that is uh, five five minus one that is four so the outermost loop, the I loop, we have to run from 0 to 3. This is because we have to always check with the next number. So when we come at position 3, we will be checking it with position 4. So we have to run till 3. That is the second last position. And then we have used a variable called as min. And we will be assigning the value of I to min. So you can see the over here the value of min is 0. Since the value of I is also 0. And the innermost loop we will start with I plus 1. That is because we have to check the values. We have to compare the values with the next value. So I plus 1 that is 0 plus 1 is 1. So the value of J over here you can see is 1. And it will go till 4. That is len of L is 5. So the loop will run from 0 to 4. Inside the loop, we are checking L of min. Now, L of min, that is 0, is 60. If 60 is greater than L of J, because the value of J is 1, so 60 is greater than J. So, what we will, what we will do is, we will assign the value of J to min. So, you can see the values now getting changed over here. The value of J will get assigned to min. So you can see the value of min has now become 1 because we have assigned the value of j to min and then j got incremented to 2, the next value of j. And now what we will do is we will check the value L of min that is 56 will get checked with 4. That is the uh, j, value of j is 2. So L of min is uh, 56 and L of uh, j that is 4. So 56 is greater than 4. So again the value of j will get assigned to min. So you can see the value is getting changed over here. Now the value of min has become 2. So we will compare again the if condition will check whether L of min that is 4 is greater than L of j. The value of j is 3. So 4 and 3 will get compared. 4 is greater than 3. So what will happen? Again, the value of j will be assigned to min and j will become 4. 
so you can see the values now so at last the value of min becomes 3 and the value of j becomes 4 so l of min that is 3 and l of j that is 5 now 3 is not greater than 5 so the value of min will remain as it is and the, the j loop will now get over since j the value of j is 4 and it will run till 4 now outside the loop you can see this is a simple code of swapping the numbers so what i am doing is l of min that is l of 3 the number is 3 itself i am storing it in a temporary variable called as temp and then l of i that is 60 will get stored in l of uh, 3 that is the third position will it will get stored and again the temp value that is 3 will get stored in index value 0 that is over here so you can see the value is getting changed now getting swapped now the value of uh, i has become 1 since the j loop was over so the value of i has uh, now become 1 so the min value will also become 1 since we are assigning the value of i to min and uh, so the number 56 will get uh, compared with the number 4 since the innermost loop if you see that is the j loop will now start from 2 since it is uh, starting from i plus 1 so l of min that is 56 and l of j that is 4 so 56 is greater than 4 so the value of i will be assigned to min and j will become 3 so you can see the value is getting changed So now the value of min has become 2 so l of min that is 4 and the value of j is 3 that is 60. So 4 is not greater than 60 so what will happen the if condition will become false and the value of min will remain as it is the value of min will remain 2. This is because we are trying to find the smallest number so smallest, no, smallest number is 4 at the position 2 so the value of min will remain 2 itself and j will now become 4. So over here you can see the value of j has now become 4 so l of min that is 4 and l of j that is 5. Now again 4 is less than 5 so the value of min will stay, stay as it is. And then the j loop will get over since j loop will work till 4 it will work from 0 to 4 it will execute the iterations will go from 0 to 4. So outside the loop again we are swapping the numbers so the number 4 will get swapped with number 56. So you can see the numbers now getting changed. Now the value of i has become 2 and the pointer that is the pointer we have moved to the second position and the value of j is 3 since uh, it is i plus 1 so it would start from the position 3. Now l of min that is 2 because we are assigning the value of i to min so l of min that is 56 and l of j that is 60. Now 56 is not greater than 60 so what will happen the if statement will go false and the min position will stay as it is and the value of j will now become 4 so you can see the values now now the value of j has become 4 now so what will happen the l of min that is 56 will get compared l of 4 that is number 5 so 56 is greater than 5 so what will happen the value of j that is 4 the position value 4 will get assigned to min so you can see the values getting changed over here So the value of min has now become 4, the value of j is also 4, so the j loop is over now and outside the loop we are swapping the numbers. So 56 will get swapped with number 5. So we can see the value is getting swapped. Now the value of i has become 3 and the value of j has become 4. Now the j loop will only go for one iteration and the if statement that is l of min, the value of min is 3. So L of min that is the value 60 will get compared with number 56 that is L of j. So 60 is greater than 56 so what will happen the value of j will get assigned to min. So you can see the value is getting changed over here. Now the value of min has become 4 the j loop is over and outside the j loop what we are doing is we are swapping the numbers. So 60 will get swapped with 56. After swapping the numbers you can see these numbers are now in sorted order and the program has now got over. So this is how the program works. This is how the selection sort works. So I hope the concept is clear to you. If it is not you can just rewind the video go through it once again and I'm pretty sure 
uh, selection sort will be very much clear to you and also the program. So if you have liked my video, do subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe button in front of you. Click it right away. And after that, click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos. Bye for now.